Let's say that I've created a THC infused edible product or a non-THC infused ice cream. And I don't want to sell my product through a distributor because of the fees that they charge and the lack of services. What other options do I have? All right. Option number one is a company can create their own delivery service. They need um, to be able to keep the product cold. Let's talk about ice cream or a frozen dessert. You probably need to keep your products cool, even if it is it's not ice cream, right? Okay. That's right. Yeah. So, well, actually, if it was a brownie, you would. It could be room temperature. So, the THC is infused into a frozen product like ice cream. Then, you know, you would set it up for your own delivery service. So, you if you start out small, it could be done in a van, and you could have a cold box in the van or even a modern day station wagon. The box doesn't necessarily have to be plugged in. It could, it could be a box that, that is, is cold. You've plugged it in overnight and it will last the day. It's an insulated box that will last without power for, you know, up to 12 hours, depending on how many times the lid is open. So the option is to do it yourself. You can start out small by using a van, uh, insulated box, and you can make the deliveries yourself. As you grow, you would get a truck that has a refrigerated unit built into it. Good. Is that your only option? The only other option is a, a delivery service, third-party delivery service that can accommodate frozen products. It's obviously more scalable to do it yourself first. That's correct. Is it actually more economical to do it yourself? In most cases, it is because you can have a licensed driver. This is a person that can be doing multiple tasks in your operation. When So it's a very nice fill position. So in other words, if we have production and production's light today, then I can send this person on a delivery. Does the distributor have some kind of special in with the distributor? That's a very good question. Most people believe that if they take on a distributor, that the distributor is going to find customers for them. That is usually not the case anymore. So basically a distributor, they may have some leads to get a foot in the door, but typically they're a glorified delivery service. Do you have a product or business you want to share? We want to know what you have to say. Leave us a comment on our website at thethcfoodie.com or on Twitter at SafeTHCFoods.